Okay, so we're going to be talking about factoring simple trinomials. So the first question is, okay, what is a simple trinomial? Well, the word tri means three, and to be a simple trinomial, you would be of this form here, x squared plus bx plus c. The b and c values are any real number, and the main thing that makes a simple trinomial is the coefficient in front of the x squared must be a one. So let's look at some examples of what a simple trinomial is. One example for a simple trinomial might be x squared minus 3x plus 5. Another example of a simple trinomial might be x squared plus 1 half x minus 2. Uh, you could have x squared minus root 2x plus 10. These are all examples of simple trinomials. All right. Another example of a simple trinomial would be x squared plus 10x minus 5. These are all examples of simple trinomials. Some of these uh, you may not want to factor. Some of them you cannot factor. Uh, but at any rate here, these, are, these still fall under the category of a simple trinomial. So now we want to look at how do you actually factor a simple trinomial. All right, let's look at an example. So we have here a simple trinomial. My leading coefficient is 1. Uh, the B and C values are 10 and 24, respectively, here. To calculate the, to be able to factor this, I should say, is you have to calculate what's called the product and the sum. So I'll label P for product and S for sum. Your product is always your constant term, so in this case it's 24. And my sum is always my B value, so in this case it's 10. So what I need to do is I have to think of two numbers that multiply to be 24 and add to be 10. Pause the video. Try to find these numbers yourself. If you went through and tried it out, hopefully you were able to find 6 and 4. 6 times 4 is 24, 6 plus 4 is 10. Once you find the two numbers that multiply to be 24 and add to be 10, you just put this in the brackets. So this becomes x plus 6 times x plus 4. Now you could have also written it as x plus 4 times x plus 6. Uh, multiplication is a commutative operation, so order doesn't matter. So either order of this is fine. Okay, let's try another. Same deal here, we have ourselves a simple trinomial. My product here is negative 24. Notice I took the sign in front with it. Likewise, my sum is going to be negative five. I need to think of two numbers that multiply to be negative 24 and add to be five. Go ahead and try those, find those numbers yourself. If you went ahead and did that, you should have gotten negative eight and three. Notice negative eight times three is negative 24 and negative eight plus three is negative five. So that satisfies both conditions. So we found the combination. So once you find that, this will factor into n minus eight times n plus three. All right, let's try this one out here. So same idea, my product in this case is 42. My sum is 13. Two numbers that multiply to be 42 and add to be 13 are seven and six. So this will factor into y plus 7 times y plus 6. Try this again. Okay, Again, we have a simple trinomial. The leading coefficient is 1. The product here is negative 45. The sum here is negative 4. I need two numbers that multiply to be negative 45 and add to be negative 4. Uh, that's going to be negative 9 and 5. So this will factor into d minus 9 d plus 5. Okay, let's try it again. So my product in this case is negative 100. My sum is 21. I need to think of two numbers that multiply to be negative 100 and add to be 21. Let's say you just tried it out. Let's say you did, okay, well, 2 and 50. All right, um, well, 2 times 50 is positive 100, so I can put a minus sign on that, and I'm going to get negative 100 now, but when I add it, I get 48. It's no good. Okay, so what if I change it to a 4? Well, if I do a 4, that's going to be 4 and 25. Well, 4 times 25 is 100. Okay, so if I put a minus sign, let's see, on the minus 25, okay, now it multiplies to be negative 100, but when I add this, I'm going to get minus 21. Okay, well, just switch it. Now we've got our combination, if you notice here. Negative 4 times 25 is negative 100, and when you add it, you get 21. So this will factor into s minus 4, times s plus 25. Okay, try it again. Here, my product is 54 and my sum is negative 15. 
So go ahead, pause the video, try to find a combination that works. The combination that works here is negative 9 and negative 6. So this will factor into p minus 9, p minus 6. Okay, now looking at this question here, you might initially think, okay, this is not a simple trinomial, but you should always look for a GCF. So you should always examine, do I have a greatest common factor? Can I factor something out of the expression? In this case here, you can. I can divide out a 4. And when you factor out a 4, that operation is division. So 4 divided by 4 is 1, so you're just left with y squared. Minus 20 divided by 4 is negative 5, leaving you with a y. And lastly, negative 56 divided by 4 is negative 14. Now you'll notice I'm left with a simple trinomial inside the brackets. So now you can do product sum on the inside. So the product here is negative 14, and the sum is negative 5. So I need to think of two numbers that multiply to be negative 14 and add to be negative 5. Those two numbers are negative 7 and 2. So this will factor into 4, y minus 7, y plus 2. Try it again. Again, doesn't appear to be simple, but I can factor that 10 out, and now I'm left with x squared plus 8x plus 12. And now I have a simple trinomial inside the brackets. So then you can go ahead, and I can do product sum on this. So I can have to think of two numbers that multiply to be 12 and add to be 8. And those two numbers are 6 and 2. So therefore, this will factor into 10, x plus 6, x plus 2. All right, let's try another. So same idea here. I can factor out that 3, which is common in all three expressions. So this factors into 3, n squared minus 9n plus 20. And now I'm left with a simple trinomial. I need to think of two numbers whose product is 20 and whose sum to be negative 9. Um, those two numbers here are going to be what? Negative 5 and negative 4. So now this will factor into 3, n minus 5, n minus 4. Now I want just to show you that this does work. Um, if I expand this out, I should get my original quadratic back. So if you remember um, expanding binomials, if you missed that video, I'll link it in the top right-hand corner. But when you expand these, you're going to first do FOIL on the product of your binomial. So this 3 is untouched. And when you go ahead and do FOIL, you get n squared minus 4n minus 5n plus 20, which is 3n squared minus 9n when you collect like terms. And then you can go ahead and distribute that 3, and you get your original quadratic back 3n squared plus, minus 27m plus 60. Okay, this concludes factoring simple trinomials. Uh, feel free, if you want, um, go back, rewatch the video, try the questions yourself, and see if you can get these answers. Uh, this is the basic idea. Given a question, you look to see, is there a GCF I can factor out? If not, if the leading coefficient is 1, you do product sum on it. Thank you.